everybody, I'm Jammer, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. It's finally here! The late November update has finally come to the game, with the trailer being announced just this morning. With this update, we'll be getting the holidays of the Harvest Festival and Toy Day as expected, as well as a bunch of new, smaller features that are seriously so, so amazing. So in addition to going over all of that here, we're also going to try to find any secrets and hidden details throughout the November trailer. But before we get started, if you are new here, perhaps consider subscribing. Mr. YouTube here told me that only 90% of you that watch my videos are subscribed, so subscribing is free, you can always change your mind later, and you of course expect tons more, tons more, on Animal Crossing New Horizons. We are getting so, so close to 100,000. Thank you all so much for the amazing support. Let's keep the momentum going. We are almost there. So thanks for listening to all that. I know it can be kind of annoying sometimes. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing to be shown off in this new trailer is of course the Harvest Festival. However, it's actually been renamed in this game to Turkey Day. A little bit different than in series past. Maybe it's just because, you know, as far as the Southern Hemisphere Islands, you know, it's not technically harvest season for them right now. So maybe just for now, it's just this artificial Turkey Day celebration. As you can see with the villagers here at Town Hall, they all wear cute little straw hats and are carrying around a bunch of food items as well as dinner plates. Franklin returns again, resuming his role as the main chef of the Harvest Festival. The trailer explains that you, the player, are tasked to create a big feast by gathering a bunch of ingredients. And here we see the player character trading some pumpkins to Franklin. So from what it seems like so far, it looks like it's going to be very similar to what we saw in Animal Crossing New Leaf. A great indicator of that is actually the four silver dish platters that are on the tables at Town Square. These can be representative of the four dishes that you would cook in New Leaf. You would prepare a salad, a soup, a main entree, and a dessert. So in order to make each of the dishes required for the celebration, Franklin will ask the player for a handful of ingredients, typically the ones that would be edible. So of course it's to expect fruit, fish, mushrooms, and as you can see here, pumpkins. I will admit it's actually quite surprising that no new crops came with this new update, you know, to kind of cook here with the Harvest Festival, but considering the holiday itself is going to be held in just a little over a week. It doesn't give you nearly as much time to prepare for the holiday, so that kind of makes sense that they're just going to go with the already edible ingredients that are here in game. There was no gameplay shown, but building off, of course, like we talked about of how this was held in New Leaf, the villagers that aren't at Town Square, the ones that are in their houses, could trade specialty cooking ingredients for items that they'll need for their own recipes. So perhaps certain recipes that you cook for Franklin will require specialty ingredients like olive oil, flour, salt, basically items exclusive to this holiday that you wouldn't normally organically collect. And what you could do to get said items is go to the villagers that are in their houses who are cooking their own recipes for the day, and perhaps they'll be like, hey, I'm actually missing a horse macro. Girl. If you could catch that for me, I'd happily trade you this olive oil. From what I at least can tell at a surface level, it looks like this holiday can be held very similarly to New Leaf, which is only a good thing because honestly that's the best version of how the Harvest Festival was played in previous games. All things considered, the, the Turkey Day section of this trailer was very small. They didn't really show off any Harvest Festival DIYs. However, if we jump a little bit further into the trailer, there's a section where a bunch of villagers are in their homes, right? And there actually looks to be a bunch of new furniture here in this frame. You you can see a crock pot, a dinner table, the tableware settings, the table in the back with the balloons and the pumpkin portrait, the chairs that the villagers are sitting on all seem to be new Harvest Festival themed items that you'll probably unlock these DIYs as you continue to complete the Turkey Day activities. Building off of at least what we see here at the town square, perhaps some of these items also become DIYs, like maybe the big silver dish plate itself, the table setting with the candles and a little bundle of wheat, perhaps the cutting board with like spices, the mixing bowl as well as the olive oil next to it. I can see all those becoming items as well. So let's move on to the next big holiday coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons being Toy Day. In a lot of these shots, a lot of the items you see around with like you know, the festive trees, the presents, the glowing light features, those are actually already all in the game right now under the festive DIY recipes. By shaking down the trees that have Christmas lights on them, you can actually get ornaments, which are a material used to craft these seasonal DIYs. From what I can tell anyways, it looks like these are all items that are already in the game. There wasn't any glaringly obvious new furniture items. But let's talk about the main man himself, Jingle. And building off what we just barely talked about with Turkey Day, it looks like the holiday of Toy Day will be held very similarly to how it was in New Leaf. In the weeks prior to Toy Day, the Able Sisters will stock the Santa outfit, 
which you need to wear in order to complete this holiday. You'll then talk to Jingle and he'll give you a bag full of presents and it's up to you, the player, to go run around your island and give gifts to all your villagers. In New Leaf, in the weeks to come to Toy Day, villagers would kind of hint at what they were wishing for Christmas, and you'd basically have to either write down or remember that, so then on Toy Day, you could make sure to give them the correct gift. And there was just a predetermined collection of gifts already in the Santa bag. However, here, since they don't really show off that gameplay mechanic, I'm not sure how it's going to be handled. We do see, at one point, the player giving a present to Sherb in a brand new custom wrapping paper, and it could mean one of two things. It could be similar to what it was in New Leaf, where you just get like an assortment of items that are already in the bag that you don't have to purchase or anything, and you, the player, just have to like determine which gifts to give to which villagers based on what they said previously before you played on Toy Day. Or another option could be that Jingle actually gives you this new holiday wrapping paper, and you actually have to get the gifts for your villagers and you can wrap them with this new wrapping paper and, and those are the items that will be allowed to be used for gifts as this holiday. As you can see for this holiday the villagers are all wearing their own Santa caps as well as of course Dottie my queen. I love her so much. I would generally be surprised if this holiday didn't have any new DIYs or something to come with it. Some new reward coming with Toy Day but at least from the evidence of the trailer, none of that is actually shown off. It looks like it'll be a really fun surprise when that day comes around. So moving on from the two new holidays, let's talk about some other miscellaneous stuff that they wrapped up the trailer with. The first section they go into is some new items that can be redeemed with Nook Miles. That being the Hip Reaction Collection and Top 6 Stylish Hairstyles. That's right, we are getting not only new emotes, but also 6 brand new hairstyles. I seriously love this. I love that this is coming with the new update. They go through each of the reactions, first one being sit down, which thank you, thank you so much. I am, this is like all we've ever wanted. This is all we've ever wanted is build just sit down with our villagers in the island. This is literally just too cute. In addition to that one, there's the wave goodbye one. There's take a selfie, which is pretty funny. There's sniff sniff, which kind of goes really well here with the harvest festival and like smelling the food. There's workout, which of course you've seen plenty of your villagers doing on your island already. Building off that as well, there's also the new emote of doing yoga, which also villagers currently can do on your island. It's really cool to see some of the stuff that was exclusive to, to villagers being able to do, you know, sitting down, doing yoga, working out. It's great to see that now us, the player, can also do that as well. The next mode is here you go. And if we back up a little bit in the trailer, this is actually the same emote that Franklin does when you present a new cooked dish. Next emote is excited, which is super cute where you're super excited for a new present. And the best one, oh my gosh, Tada is hilarious. I love this like dramatic reveal with all the magical sparkles and stuff. And the fact that Doby does it as well. I love it so much. I love it so much. Moving on, let's talk about the new six hairstyles coming with the game. And they go through each of them here real quick. There's a selection of braids, this new clean shave and cut, the two buns, the afro, the big curly hairstyle, as well as just completely bald. I love this. I'm so happy that they're continuing to bring more diversity and different hairstyles to the game so you can, you know, better make your villager look like you. We've been clamoring for new hairstyles and new emotes to come to the game and I honestly never would have expected them to listen and actually bring those to the game. But now that they're setting this precedent, I can totally expect them to continue to do this later down the road in future updates and throwing in a collection of new hairstyles and emotes here and there as we continue to go along. But the biggest new announcement of this trailer, the one that's gotten everyone so hype is the announcement that they are expanding the storage of your home inventory. Yes, thank you so much. They are expanding it from 1600 to 2400 items. And I think this is just so, so amazing. Yes, I know I hoard a lot of stuff in my house and I definitely should probably get rid of it. But at a point where, you know, when they continue to update with new holiday furniture items and such like that, you know, you're going to want to keep all those new items you unlock, especially the ones you can't just repurchase from your Nook shopping app. It's just natural where it's gonna come to a point where your storage is gonna get full. I just can't believe they actually listened to us. We've been talking about wanting more storage in New Horizons for so long. I can't believe they just, they actually did it. The next part of the trailer to talk about is this new feature called the Save Data Transfer Tool. And upon going to the website, they explain a little bit better how this new feature works. What the Save Data Transfer essentially means is you can transfer your save data from one Nintendo Switch to a new brand new Nintendo Switch. And there's two options of ways you can do this. The first way to do it is an entire island transfer. That means the entire island and all its residents will be transferred to a brand new Nintendo Switch. That means the entire town, all the villagers who live in it, all of the player characters, including like the main island representative and all other secondary accounts. Basically, it'll just transfer 
everything from one switch to another switch. The other option of say data transfer is actually really interesting. It's just resident move of a single player. Rather than moving the entire island, you can just move a single player character off of your island. All the items in the player's storage, as well as in your pockets, are retained. You keep all your progress with the catalog and whatnot. The only caveat is the island representative cannot be transferred. You are tied to that island forever. But this is like a really great case scenario for people who like, maybe you started your adventure in Animal Crossing New Horizon on someone else's island, maybe where you were sharing a switch at the time, and now you have the ability to be able to transfer your character to your own brand new island. And you actually have two options where you can either start fresh anew and become yourself the island representative, or you can move to another already established island again becoming another secondary account player character. This is a really great and convenient feature, especially just because of the convenience of making sure you never lose your progress and so you can continue to play your save file and move it to a different switch if you need to. The trailer wraps up as it always does with the announcement of the next update coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons being of course Festa Vale at the end of late January, which total sense because the in real life date of Festa Vale or Mardi Gras is going to be February 16th in 2021. So late January being a couple of weeks right before that holiday actually takes place totally makes sense and exactly what I expected this next holiday update to be. The last thing to quickly mention outside of the trailer is there's a couple of other things that they announced in addition to coming to this update that wasn't here in the trailer. One new detail was an update to the Dream Suite. Now when you go to the Dream Suite, you have an option to just tell Luna, give me a random dream address. So rather than trying to use third-party websites to kind of just give you a random generator of different dream addresses to visit, there's actually a feature in-game where you can just randomly select a random dream to go visit, and you can go check it out there. Pretty cool. In addition to that, there's now been a new update to the Nintendo Switch Online app where now you can access your Nook catalog which is really cool that you're able to see what items you have unlocked, see what items are available already in your catalog, how much bells they go for and such. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you're able to even order items. I could be mistaken, of course. But it is pretty cool that you're able to like, access your catalog and, it, and it's been a really convenient feature to be able to just quickly pull up and see what items you have when you're trying to give a friend a gift or whatnot. I love to see that they continue to support the online app as well, adding a lot of convenient features like you know they did with the Reaction app last time and now here with the Nook catalog. But that's about everything I found in the new Turkey Day Toy Day trailer. But what are you most excited for in this update? And did you find any secrets of your own in this trailer? Definitely let me know that in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a big awesome like. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe for tons more on Animal Crossing New Horizon. As a reminder, we do stream this game every weekend right here on YouTube Live. That's both Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. East. Be sure to follow me over on all my socials as well as join our community Discord. The link to that in the description below. Thanks again guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.